Okay, so the next voting mapper that we will discuss is called the hair or runoff mapper. In this mapper, the first step is we look at the first place votes. And if there is a candidate that receives more than half of the first place votes, then that candidate is declared the winner. On the other hand, if there is no candidate that receives more than half of the first place votes, then we remove the candidate with the lowest first place votes. After removing the candidate with the lowest first place votes, we adjust the preferential table accordingly. So the process continues until one of the candidates receive more than half of the first place votes. So let's illustrate the runoff method or the runoff voting method in our example. Suppose that we have this preferential table. Now let's tally the first place votes of candidate A, B, C, and D. Observe that candidate A got 14 first place votes, B got 4, C got 11, and D got 8. Now notice that none of the candidates receive uh, more than half of the first place votes. So in this case, we eliminate the candidate with the lowest first place votes. In this particular example, we eliminate candidate B. Now after eliminating candidate B, these cells will be empty. Now we adjust the preferential table accordingly by pushing the candidates upward. So now we have the adjusted preferential table. From the adjusted preferential table, we make a tally again of the first place votes. So candidate A got 14, candidate C got 11, candidate B got 12. Now observe that again, none of the candidates received more than half of the first place votes. So in this, uh, in this part of the hair or runoff method, we eliminate candidate C. Now, after eliminating candidate C, these cells will be empty. So, we push the candidates upward and we have the adjusted preferential table. Now, there are only two candidates left. So, again, we make a tally of the first place votes. Candidate A has 14 and candidate D got 23. Now between candidate A and candidate D, notice that candidate D received more than half of the first place votes. And is therefore declared the winner by hair or runoff method. This ends the discussion on hair or runoff method. Now notice that in hair or runoff method, the process continues until one candidate receives more than half of the first place votes. Next is the board account method. For the board account method, the idea is we give points for the ranking of the candidates by each uh, voter in the preference list. So you give particular point for first place votes, another point for second place votes, and so on and so forth. This method is named after John Charles de Borda. So suppose that there are N candidates. So in this case, first place votes will have a weight of N minus 1. Second place votes will have a weight of N minus 2 and so on and so forth. So this is a picture of John Charles de Borda and this is the point system. First place votes has N minus 1 second place votes, and minus 2, and so on and so forth. So let's have an example of for the count method. So this is our preferential table. Six people uh, ranked A as first place, B second place, uh, C third place, and D fourth place. Five people ranked uh, B as first place, D as second, a as third and C as fourth. Now for the first place votes, we give, uh, since there are four candidates, first place votes have three points, second place votes have two points, 
third place votes have one point and fourth place votes have zero points. So we will get this number of points. So you have first place votes is three. So times six, you get 18. Second place votes, you have two points times six, you get 12 and so on and so forth. Now let's compile the total points of each candidate. For the border score, the border score is the total points received for each candidate from all the voters added. The winner is the candidate with the highest border score. So in this table, let's count or add the total points of each candidate. So A got 28, B got 34, C got 9, and D got 90. So among the four candidate, candidates, it's B with the highest border score and is therefore the winner by the border count. Okay, the next voting method is called the sequential pairwise method otherwise known as tournament style method. In sequential pairwise uh, voting, there is a fixed ordering or agenda of the candidates. So for example, you have A, D, B, C, F, E. Now this one is uh, determined prior to the voting. Okay, have the first two to compete in head-to-head -head battle. So the first two will compete in head-to-head -head battle. The winner of that head-to-head -head battle will, will go against the next candidate. Then the winner of that battle will go to the next until we reach the last battle. In this particular example, suppose that the winner is uh, candidate C. So the winner is uh, greater than the rest. And the remaining candidates have equal ranks. Now, in sequential pairwise voting, there is some sort of a bias because, um, because of the agenda. So, if you, for example, if you don't want a candidate to win, or if you want a candidate to have a hard time winning, you can put that candidate in the first two first two part of the agenda. In that, in that case, that candidate will have more battles compared to the ones listed in the right side. So for example, in this preferential table, you can set your agenda, McDo versus Jollibee versus KFC versus Burger King. So you start with the first two head-to-head -head battle. And then the winner of that head-to-head -head battle will go against KFC. Now the winner in that head-to-head -head battle will go against Burger King. And then finally, the winner of that head-to-head uh, -head battle is declared the winner by the sequential pairwise method. Now of course, a, uh, a different set of agenda may result to a different winner. Now one thing for certain is, if there is a majority winner or majority rule winner, that majority rule winner will always be the winner in the sequential pairwise method, regardless of the agenda. Okay, finally, for the approval voting, this approval voting is used in the selection of Secretary General of the United Nations and the Mathematical Association of America. So in approval voting, there is no ranking of the candidates, but rather all votes are considered first choice votes. So you can have as many votes as you can, and each vote is treated as first place votes. The one with the most number of votes is declared the winner. So that's it for the different types of voting methods. And if you will look at the fairness conditions of this uh, various voting methods, we have this table. So this table summarizes the fairness, uh, the uh, fairness conditions that are satisfied or not satisfied by the various uh, voting methods we discuss. So for instance, plurality, uh, 
satisfies majority always, Pareto always, and monotonicity always. The Hare system or the Randolph system satisfies majority criterion always and Pareto criterion always. Now we wonder, is there a voting method that satisfies um, a reasonable amount of fairness conditions? Okay, we will discuss that in the next slide or in the next part of the video.